What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another install video going down on the channel today. And thanks to the guys over at Handshow, we are installing their new latest and greatest rear display. This is the H86 rear display for the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. And this thing is sick because it's an 8.6 inch display that has a Android uh, operating system built inside. Now, if you guys aren't new to the channel, you guys know that I installed a rear display about a year ago. And since then, I've taken it out of the vehicle, hand show, listened to the customers and updated a ton of features. And this one seems like it answered all of the, of the questions and all the concerns that people had. I'm excited to get this thing in here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So jumping right in, just looking at the exterior of the box, the only thing on the outside is you see the image of the display. The one thing I know about this one is that it's gonna have a much smaller bezel than the competitors. We are also gonna have the biggest room for airflow with the air conditioner. So that was the one thing with some of the previous versions that I've used and seen is that you didn't have a lot of airflow with these vents, but with this display, you're gonna have the biggest one. So let's go ahead and just crack open the box. Put that there. You get a nice QR code there. Then you have the display just right there, right in front. Let's go ahead and put that there. And everything else that comes in the box, basically your tools and your cables that you need to make this thing work. So you have your pry tool, which is gonna be needed to take some of the trim off the vehicle. And then some cases they will send you two different modules, um, one for the older Model 3s and Model Ys and for one for the newer Model 3s and Model Ys. I've worked with Handshow in the past, so they know what type of vehicle I have. So they just opted and sent me the module that I'll need for my vehicle, which is a 2022 Tesla Model Y long range. So this right here is your USB-C loop point, And this is something that you're gonna need uh, for one of the cables and mechanisms that's inside the vehicle already to make sure that USB-C ports work. It also comes with a little hand show USB-C stick. Uh, this is an adapter, USB-C to USB-A, so you can go ahead and load in some of that data onto the monitor itself. And you can load in music, games, uh, videos, pictures, a bunch of different things uh, just to have natively on the device. One thing I forgot, one big thing I forgot to mention about this display as well, you can also control your front seats from the rear. Some people say, well, why do you want to do that? I know just right off the top, let's think of a mom that's in the back seat with a car seat and needs to adjust the front seat. That's a use case right there. But all of that can be controlled all from just this one harness. In the past with the other displays, you have to take another cable, channel it through and connect it to that seat. But in this case, you only need this one harness to control it all. So I think that is sick in itself. And last but certainly not least, we have the display itself. And it comes in this little blue bag. And there it is. This thing is gorgeous. You can see how big the screen is. You have the nice air vents right here. They do only move side to side. They don't go up and down. Oh, actually, wait a minute. So they actually do move up and down. I've seen a lot of videos say that they don't move up and down. Um, the vents themselves don't move up and down, but this channel right here does move up and down, which I haven't seen any other person talk about. So that's good to know that it does move up and down and it moves left and right. So let's go ahead and hop in the back of the vehicle and get this thing installed. The first thing I recommend doing is going ahead and moving your front seats all the way forward and lean them all the way forward just so that you have optimal space to work in the back seat. 
sometimes you have to get that pry tool in in between the trim and it's kind of difficult to do it with the seats being there so i recommend just moving the seats forward and then second you don't have to do this but i just recommend turning off the power to the car very simple to do i don't think it's necessarily needed but just for safety purposes just go ahead and do it it's easy enough now we're in the back seat we're just going to take this module off right here very very simple it's basically the same setup the same instructions for the last video that i did with the display here it's very it's pretty much exactly the same but this is very easy to take off you can just go ahead and it's all clipped so see how it just popped off right there and you can go ahead and just remove this clip right here very easy and just for future reference um, i do have a ton of other third-party accessories like rgb lighting so you'll see a bunch of other cables that you guys don't have so don't even worry about that stuff then second you want to go ahead and remove this trim down here so you're just going to go ahead take that pry tool get that in there again it's all clipped so very easy to pop off set that right there and what you're going to want to do is take this piece and detach it because what you're going to be doing is putting in this module in between and then funneling up this stuff through here so let's go ahead and remove this very easy you just take this clip right here push down on it and pull out there you go gonna go ahead and take this module right here these two and you're just gonna connect it there and there there's only one way to do it so it's really hard to mess up just put that in like that and then you're gonna connect this piece there boom then we'll figure out how to get that in there right later now secondly you want to go ahead and funnel this stuff up through here now what you can do is get yourself a t20 screw put that there and unscrew these two and this whole piece comes off i don't feel like doing it so i'm going to go ahead and try to funnel it through here and see if i can just make that work okay so this was taking a little bit too long for me and i actually ended up unplugging my RGB lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and use a T20 screw to unscrew this piece right here. There, you go. there we go. And what you're going to do is just pull down and out. Pull one side out just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix my RGB lighting first. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just funnel this through right here. There, now that's inside. Make sure all that's tucked in. Boom, screw those in. Boom, good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the screen here and we have a few ports on the top that we need to plug in. So the white goes in this white module piece right there. So go ahead and just click that, there we go. Then you're gonna take this other harness and connect it to the other side of the display, just like that. You'll hear that nice click. And then this is the part where you need to put on your USB-C portion. So this is the loop to make sure that that works. And you just click that in. Right there. Now it's time to clean up and tuck all the cables away. But you don't want to get all these cables in the way of your air vent. You want all that to stand clear. So that way you have optimal airflow at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck that in there nicely. You don't want any of that blocking your airflow. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. You should hear a few clicks. That's how you know you are good. There we go. Got it on there nice and snug. No movement, no rattle. Everything's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to manage all of that down there and uh, 
once we come back, we'll have a beautifully functioning display. All right, cool. So it's been a few weeks with the display. I like to get to have some time with the product to give you guys a decent enough review. So it's been about two, almost three weeks of having the display in the car. And just from that time, this is something I think will be in my car for the foreseeable future for a few reasons. One, the display is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it definitely adds some sex appeal and uh, it just makes the back seat that much more functional and more appealing for passengers so just jumping into the display uh, it's very very simple very very minimal um, as you guys can see here i'll just jump into jump into some of my favorite features of the display i'm not going to go into everything but just being able to control the climate here and the climate control back here is a lot more functional than the ones i've used on other displays but this thing is awesome very streamlined very simple very easy so jumping over to the seats i've used this feature myself even just today to film this video i'm in the back seat i needed some room to film and just being able to move the seat forward and back just from the screen and also just to move it forward and backwards from here like like that's awesome like honestly like this is probably my favorite feature only because it was very easy to install with using just that one cable and not having to do a bunch of other hard wiring this display has made everything extremely simple just like all the other displays as well it has a great media uh, kit that comes pre-installed on the display now you do need to be connected to wi-fi or to a hotspot in order to make these functions work i typically just use my phone as a hotspot and it works perfectly um, i've also installed some games over from the google play store uh, subway surf uh, also Sonic. I don't have a Bluetooth controller because I'm not that much of a gamer. You can pair your Bluetooth game controller to the display as well um, to make this work. So I guess I'll say I'm three years old today. <laughs> and as you can see, we got Subway Surfer here. It's actually my first time playing on the display. So you guys can see that this is, you can swipe up, swipe up, up, down, down down you can see the the screen and the touchpad is very very intuitive and smooth so if you guys have kids or toddlers or whatever or even yourself you guys want to just play games back here um, this is a great a great feature as well and as you guys can hear that there is sound coming from the display there is a speaker on the bottom you also can pair your headphones to this as well just so that the sound isn't going through the whole car and so this is just another great feature of this display now this display isn't perfect by any means i don't think any product is truly uh perfect but the one issue that i had trouble with for the first week was figuring out how to get the time to be correct it's not as simple as just going into the settings and changing your time zone you would think that would be it but just to give you guys a little heads up for those that are in California, you hit this settings button right here and it'll open up this settings panel. So there is two different settings panels. If you click the settings button right here on the display, it'll open up this settings. And what you'll do is go to time zone and go to West 7th district. That will give you the Pacific standard time for California. That will give you the correct time. Now, if you're somewhere else, you'll just have to click this and scrub through all the different all the different districts and figure out which one is for your location. That was like the most annoying thing. I gave up on it until my homie Tommy told me exactly which district it was. That was like the biggest thing that was truly frustrating. Um, it can be a little finicky at times when you're changing your your temperature gauge um it doesn't really happen that much but it's it's not always as intuitive 
obviously it's gonna work great for you guys today on camera but yeah but overall this is a great buy i have a discount code down in the description below if you guys want to pick this up and if you guys love content like this more modifications to the tesla and the tesla model y to be specific make sure you guys like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace